Okay, so I am just uh, doing my first two-color print with the MMU. I'm just printing one of those little uh, fidget spinner style uh, planetary gear sets. Uh, doing one set of gears in blue, the outer casing, the center gear in red or in black, using uh, inland PLA. Um, just because that's what I had available. Um, this is about uh, 10 layers up so far. So far I haven't had any jams. Um, you can see the purge tower over on the right hand side. Uh, so, as you can see, um, the biggest thing that I found was making sure that you do the calibration completely for the, the uh, PETG, or sorry, the, the Bowden tube length. Um, you got to get that perfect so that it, it gets it all the way down far enough into the uh, extruder and then all the way back out. Um, and it should be just about ready to do a, uh, a tool change and I'll show you how that looks. So it's, or sorry, a color change. Um, so it's just finishing up this layer and I think, I think yeah, black's loaded right now so it's doing the outer and the middle. Okay, so now it's going to go over and do some stuff to purge a little bit. Starts unloading. Does this weird like back and forth, back and forth like three or four times. And I think this is to help get the, uh, the end tip in a nice shape before it retracts it back all the way. And so then what it's going to do is it'll start retracting it back from the extruder. Once it's out of the extruder, then the MMU will grab it and start pulling it out all the rest of the way. So there's coming out of the extruder. Now the MMU starts getting it and if you watch you can see it's unloading it from there. You'll see the MMU move over to the second filament. You'll see it start taking up the blue. Yep, there it goes. So it's loading the blue. It'll almost completely pull it all the way in. There we go. So now it's down at the extruder. The extruder starts purging it a little bit, starts loading it in. And it's going to wipe a little bit to the block just to get it, you know, primed in. And then it'll start going back and printing blue stuff. Yeah, it is a good amount of waste, but you know, when you do, and I'm only changing colors, you know, once every other layer, yeah, once every other layer, it switches back and forth between the two, so it's not too bad. But um, I, yeah, definitely, if you're on a big, big print job with lots of different colors, it could seriously make a use up a lot of uh, filament making the uh, the purge. But anyway, so far so good. That's how it's going.